Hey everybody, I am currently stuck behind a learner lorry. I was stuck behind one just now, I overtook it and found another one. Please do your thing and I'll then do mine. Basically, I am just going on a little bit of a cruise today. Sorry if it sounds really windy. I'll try and move my mic slightly. I've just adjusted my mic. I hope that sounds a bit better. It's quite a blustery autumnal day, but I really wanted to go for a ride. My back is so-so, but I'm on Divi. She's the kindest. And as I say, as I said in the last video, I've been reminded by this autumnal feel that the winter is on its way. I was like, Christ man, you've got to get out and get a couple more decent rides in. Just for a bit of fun. And I'm fueled by a very generous supporter of mine through PayPal. So how can I not just get on the bike and go for a ride for a bit? I don't know where I'm going to end up. I really don't. by an old bike. Nearly. <laughs> back just there because I know people run wide in that corner. So, so did you see what that Jeep, was it GP2, Moto2 uh, rider did he, in a race? He pulled, he pulled another rider's brake at a hundred and 40 miles an hour. I'm going to show a very quick clip because I don't want to get this thing claimed. He grabs his front brake. Now of all of the shitty things I can think someone can do in a race, that has got to be just, what was the guy even thinking? I mean, I've heard apparently, well supposedly, that Rossi once did this to someone. I don't know. I don't really follow MotoGP or, or I mean, I've watched the odd race, but I just, I can never seem to find it on telly and I've never really got that into it. I mean, yeah, it's very, it's, it's the high end of, uh, of bikes, but it's not necessarily the thing that I'm most interested in. You know, sports bikes, I like them, but they're not, they're not it for me. But yeah, I was just wondering, do you know, is that true? Did Rossi once do that to someone? Uh, is this, is this a known thing? I know uh, Night Stalker, uh, one of my subscribers who uh, used to do racing, he said he's never, I think, I think your comment said something along the lines of you've never seen anything like it remember rightly. Shout out to his channel on the screen here. I mean I've seen riders kicking each other and giving each other a nudge here and there. I mean I, I think that's you know it's, it's not allowed but it, it's like rubbing. It's like rubbing in um, NASCAR. To, to physically reach out and grab someone's front brake at 140 is that just being unsporting or is that like attempted murder almost? <laughs> Because Jesus, if he'd lost it at that speed, he could be dead. I mean, imagine what would happen if he'd done that. He got a bit of a wobble on the rider who had it done to him. Um, imagine if that had, you know, gone into a massive tank slapper and he'd been killed by a 140 mile an hour high side. How would that come out? That, that would have, that's got to be death through negligence of some sort. I mean, how does that work? If you cause the death of another rider on a racetrack, can you, if you, and because you do something that deliberate, like literally kicking them off, I can't see how that isn't attempted murder, presumably. And most of the way to Lumi's, I need a drink badly. So I might end up at Hazemere Motorcycles. I was not planning on going that far when I came out this morning. I thought I'll just go for a, a ride into the, uh, the nice back roads. But now I'm out on the bike, I'm just like, go, go for a longer ride. If your back is feeling like okay with it at the moment, make the most of it.
Welcome to my church, the Cathedral of Divs. I love tunnels. Yes, I'm childish, I know. Oh yeah, I absolutely love the response I got from the Q&A. Uh, doing it really long was quite nice in a way because it meant that I could really go into depth wherever I wanted to uh, and answer pretty much everyone's question. So I might make that while my, uh, my spine is giving me gym, I might make that a monthly thing. Um, jumping subjects a little bit, but Twitch. Uh, as you know, I was doing some Twitch streams a while ago and then I said, I'll do more, I'll do more, I promise, I promise, and then I never did for a couple of weeks. That was just because everything sort of kicked off around them, my back and all sorts of stuff. But basically, where I'm uh, having to take more rest days, I'm actually going to be playing uh, on Twitch more. And I've tried to avoid doing streams in the day because people are at work, but it just seems to work out better that way sometimes. So I will be doing more random, just hour or two long Twitch streams where I'm just playing a game because I'm chilling out, resting my back a bit. What the hell is... Oh, that is an exploded badger! God! Damn! Hey cows! He needs some milk! Ow, I've got a fly on my eye! It was caught in my eye! What the f... I literally just caught a fly with my eye. Like it went clunk just as it went and it held it. I could see it. Ah. Uh. So glad that wasn't a wasp. Ow. That was incredibly disgusting. Fires are down. That was truly disgusting. I, I haven't said that. I did have a munched up fly in my eye the other day. You know when a small one goes in and you know it's dead and it started getting broken into bits inside your eye. Oh, yeah. I think we've all had it at some point on a bike. Probably haven't even realised it. Like, hmm, why have I got a black eye bogey? Oh, it was a fly. Let's hope that fly hadn't been in shit. Shut up, I know there's people probably going to say, oh, most likely it has spicy. It's probably in the, the, the steamiest of turds. The smelliest of dookies. Ah. Ah. Come back, don't stop that. Don't stop. Oh, that's worked. Bit of a flex, bit of a bend, and that little twinge went away. Person behind me thinks I'm nuts. This is very pretty, and you can see that the leaves are starting to turn. I'm surprised. Well, the thing is, autumn seemed to start a while ago because of how dry it had been. And then we had that rain, and it was like, okay, we, we can keep summer going for a bit. But it's definitely switched. Part of the reason I'm doing this ride is to see how long I can last on a bike and what I'm like afterwards. Because Mr. Fish's meet at the end of the month will be about another 40 minutes on top of what I'm going to do today. Um, and I, d I basically don't want to go there and then just feel like leaving the second I get there because I'm going to be in so much pain. I haven't mentioned this for a while, even though it's mentioned at the beginning of each of my videos, but uh, don't forget Rock Jeans and the MRT Jeans, the MRT Gloves that are available at theriderteam.com. You can get 5% off using code I am snow. drink and I'm gonna probably make another video as I continue off up that way so catch me in the next one don't forget to subscribe leave a like on the uh, leave a like on the video and if you wish to uh, support me in any way there are links in the description to do so bye bye I've been you up tit you want one with an engine on mid morning guys what has two thumbs speaks French and has a full motorbike license moi that one's chilling out, that one's just horsing around. Woo! Who says diversions are boring?
If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.